Helical knitting is a technique that's used when working in the round. It's extremely simple and it allows you to work with two colors in one row stripes and in doing so you have no jogs on the right side of your work and you have no floats on the wrong side. And here's how it's done. You work with your first color until you're ready to join the second. And you simply pick it up and join the round. And you continue to work in that color all the way around until you reach the last three stitches of the first color. As you approach the end of the round that you're working, you will stop at the last three stitches. And what you'll do now is simply slip those three stitches from the left to the right needle purlwise. Now drop the second color, pick up the first color you were working with, and continue. Whoops, there we go. Now you're going to work all the way around, just like before, until you get to the last three stitches of the previous color. Now we're approaching the end of this round. When we get to the last three stitches of the previous color, we stop, slip those three stitches purlwise, change colors, and now continue in the new color for the next round. And we just keep repeating this process. Now here's a little tip. When you get to the end of a round and you're slipping those last three stitches from the previous color, make sure that the tension on those stitches is even. So if there's a little extra yarn, Give a snug, make it snug, give a little tug on it, and then continue. And what I'm going to do is just knit a few stitches so I can show you the benefits of this technique, and you can see how nicely the stripes look after just a few rounds. Now we're back to the point where we first introduced the second color. Do a couple more stitches. So there you can see how the striping looks. And the thing to understand is when knitting in the round, you're actually knitting in a spiral. So what's happening in this case in introducing the second color is the two colors are actually traveling uh, together. They're taking turns and traveling together. So the transition points, which were for each round, were along this row here. As you can see, the stitches come out nice and even as the various rows and rounds are defined. And as you can see, there are no jogs there are no floats. And when you get to the end of your project, all you have are four tails, one at the beginning and the end of each color. This, uh, this technique can be applied to lots of different projects. So, so far I've designed a hat and a cowl and gloves and a pair of socks and a sweater. And right now I'm just starting a new project. It's a little summer top for ladies. So that's the helical knitting technique. Um, I hope you enjoy the simplicity and the fun. I'm James Cox, and I can't stop knitting.